On this edition of Sea line Sports Scoop, we'll recap a very successful fall sports season that included a third place finish for the women's soccer team at the national tournament. Updates on the men's and women's basketball team are also on the table, and there'll be a new leader for the men's soccer team in 2012. That's all coming up on Sea line Sports Scoop, so stick around. Most incredible seasons in Sea Lion women's soccer history came to a close with a third place finish at the NAI National Championships in Decatur, Alabama. Coach Tim Hall's team reeled off three wins in the tournament, advancing twice on gut wrenching penalty kicks before falling to Concordia of Oregon in a semifinal match. The 2011 squad finished with an all time program best record of 19 wins, two losses, and four ties, and they won their first ever Golden State Athletic Conference Championship with a near perfect league record of 8 and 1. Coach Hall loses four very important seniors from that group, but returns the rest of the roster for what could be another very successful run in 2012. Things didn't go exactly as planned for first-year head coach Sarah Gustin and her volleyball squad at the NEI National Tournament in Sioux City, Iowa. The Sea Lions won one of three matches and did not advance out of pool play, finishing their season with a 20-10 overall mark. Point Loma fell in straight sets to Columbia of Missouri, dropped three out of four sets to Lewis Clark State, and then finished the year on a high note with a 3-1 victory over Indiana Tech. On the plus side, it was the seventh consecutive winning season for the volleyball program, and Gustin loses only two seniors to graduation as she looks forward to 2012. One team that won't be taking too much time off over the holiday is Coach Bill Carr's basketball squad. The Sea Lions will play four non-conference games at home prior to the new year and will use that time to try and get back on track. Carr's team began the year with a four-game winning streak but has since dropped three in a row, including a pair of conference losses to Vanguard and Westmont. After the four home games, the Sea Lions will dive back into Golden State Athletic Conference play on January the 3rd with a contest on the other side of the county at San Diego Christian. After a very busy fall, the PLNU women's basketball team is in the midst of a 19-day layoff that began right after semester finals and will continue until a December 28th home contest against Wisconsin Stevens Point. The Sea Lions are 7-4 and on the year, but like the men, are 0-2 in GSAC play with losses to Vanguard and Westmont. After the turn of the calendar into the new year, Coach Bill Westfall's team will look to pick up their first conference win of the year against crosstown rival the Hawks of San Diego Christian on January the 3rd. As the fall season came to a close, there were a slew of All-American awards handed out to Point Loma athletes. Congratulations to senior runner Will McNeil, who captured All-American honors at the NEI Cross Country National Championships in Vancouver, Washington. McNeil ran 28 seconds faster than his previous best at 8 kilometers to finish in 14th place. He's Point Loma's first Cross Country All-American since the 2008 season. Coach Jerry Arvin's teams did excellent in the classroom as well, with seven total academic All-Americans. The six women honored are Gina Urbachi, Brela Matranga, Elena Bird, Angela Affman, Sarah Fetterson, and Ashley Sable. Alex Buttweiler was named on the men's side. In women's soccer, four Sea Lions were decorated with postseason honors. Senior defender Erica Wessels, who was also the GSAC Player of the Year, was a first-team All-American selection, while Tiffany Cracy and Katie Pedlow were second-team honorees. Callie Caldwell earned third-team kudos. For Cracy, a junior, it was her third selection to the prestigious squad, and for Pedlow, it was her second national honor this year, as she was also named to the NAI Scholar Athlete Team. In addition, Jessica Van Lu was named the NAI National Champions of Character recipient, only the second Sea Lion ever to earn that award. On the volleyball court, senior outside hitter Tabitha Hinken gathered her third All-American honor, a first-team selection, as she wrapped up a stellar career and she graduates as the school's all-time kill leader. Sophomore Alyssa Dwyer was named a second-team All-American after boasting one of the top hitting percentages and block totals in the NEI. Senior Amy Bird capped the volleyball honors by being named to the NEI Scholar Athlete Squad. For the first time in 17 years, the PLNU men's soccer program will have a new coach. Longtime leader Tim Hall, who has coached both the men's and women's programs, relinquishes his duties with the men to focus next fall on the Sea Line women's program. 
In his 16 seasons with the men, Hall posted a record of 151 wins, 109 losses, and 21 ties. In his four years as the women's coach, Point Loma is 50, 18, and 16, winning the GSAC championship this year and finishing third at the national tournament. The Sea Lions also reached the national title match in 2009. A national search for a new men's head coach is currently underway. On the next edition of Sea Line Sports Scoop, we'll dive back into men's and women's basketball as the Point Loma squads rush into Golden State Athletic Conference play. That's next time on Sea Line Sports Scoop.